Welcome to the channel. Today, at the request of the community, we'll be covering the topic of integrating your local music libraries into Music Assistant. We'll cover several different approaches from local file system media, Plex and Jellyfin integrations, providing a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the installation and configuration for each method, and round off with a summary as to what I believe is the best approach and why. So let's put those headphones on, hit play and dive on in. First, let's add the local file system provider to Music Assistant. I'll assume that you already have Music Assistant installed and running. If not, check out the video in the pop-up above or in the description below. Navigate to Music Assistant in the navigation menu on the left-hand side. Now press the cog item at the bottom of the Music Assistant menu on the left. Here you can add music providers, be they streaming services such as Spotify or SoundCloud or Tidal to mention just a few. You can add music integrations such as Plex and Jellyfin, more on that later. And you can add local media sources such as remote or local. You can also add supported players such as Sonos, Chromecast or even supported UPnP devices. Then you have the configuration for metadata providers. These providers scan your music and provide all the supporting data such as artist, track name or even cover art. And finally, you get the plugin provider, which is, of course, Home Assistant in this case. Now, to be able to access your Home Assistant remotely, you're going to need to have an SSH add-on loaded. Check out the video in the pop-up above or in the video description below for how to add this essential add-on. Once installed, you should now be able to access your Home Assistant via a remote machine by typing in slash slash the IP address of the machine. You'll need to enter your Home Assistant username and password to gain access to the file system. Now to make this easier to visualize, I split the screen. My local Windows machine is on the left and my Home Assistant is on the right. I've downloaded some free music from the Free Music Archives, link in the description, and saved it to my C drive in a directory called Free Music. I've already put it into artists and album folders, but this is optional as Home Assistant will sort this out for you. Now let's go into the Home Assistant side and double click on Media. Create a folder called Music and navigate into it. Now simply copy your free music and copy it across into the Music folder. Moving back into Music Assistant, navigate to the cog for the settings, top left hand corner for Add Music Provider and select File System Local. In the path, change the slash media to slash media slash music or change to the location where you have saved your music. Now simply press save. Now to test this out, navigate to the folder icon in the Music Assistant. Select File System. You should now see your music is displayed and you can actually play it from here, but it will also be indexed and available from the main Music Assistant menu. The previous method allows us to access file systems on the Home Assistant machine. There is another music provider called File System Remote Share. I'm specifically not going to go through this option as it's complex due to the wide variety of different configurations that people might have. Instead, we'll be achieving the same results using two different integration. First, let's go through using the Plex Media Server solution. So for those of you that don't know what Plex is, it's a local media aggregator. It has the ability to allow access to this media on multiple devices, both inside and outside of your network. So think of it as Spotify and Netflix for your personal media collection, accessible on multiple devices, either at home or anywhere in the world, with a few asterisks around subscriptions for more advanced features, which we'll not use for this purpose. Now we can leverage these free features to provide access to our music from within Music Assistant easily and to be able to access our music remotely as an added advantage. Nice. To get this to work, you'll need to install the Plex Media Server. You'll need to install it on a machine that runs 24-7 and can serve up music media to Music Assistant. I have this running on my Home Assistant machine, but this could equally run on a NAS or any other machine running on Windows, Mac, Linux or even Docker. The choice is yours. For this demonstration, I'll be installing it onto a mini server running Windows and my Home Assistant running in a virtual box. Navigate to the link in the description for the Plex server downloads. Select your OS. In my case, this would be Windows. Select your distribution. In my case, this will be a Windows 64-bit. Press Open. If you are presented with a user access control, 
press Allow. For the setup, press Next. Confirm your destination location and press Next. Confirm the startup menu and press Next. Confirm the details are correct and press Install. Once completed, make sure the Launch Plex is selected and press Finish. Plex has now started, but is running in the background. Double click the icon for Plex in your system tray. You will be presented with a login screen. If you don't have an account, then create one and log in. You will be dropped into the home screen for the Plex media server. Now we simply need to point Plex at the music library. Press the spanner in the top right hand corner. Scroll down on the left hand menu until you see manage and manage libraries and select. Now press add library. We're going to be adding music. Optionally you can change the name of the label associated with this music library. Press next. Now we need to point Plex at our media library. Press browse for media. Using the mapped disks on the left hand side and the folder names on the right hand side, navigate to your media library that contains your music and press add. Optionally, you can add additional music libraries if required. If not, simply press add library. Plex will now scan your library and index your music. To view your music from within Plex, press the home button in the top left hand corner. You should see a new title for music. Our two tracks can now be seen inside of Plex. Moving back to Music Assistant in the Settings option, select Add Music Provider. Select Plex Media Server Library. In the local server IP address, enter the IP address of where your Plex Media Server is running. For the local server port, enter 32400. Now scroll down and press Authenticate on My Plex TV. You'll now need to log into your Plex account. Make sure that the email address is correct and press Sign In. Now press Save. Now let's test to see if our music has come across. Press the folder icon on the Music Assistant menu. You should now see an entry for Plex Media Server Library. Select this. Now select any of the artist's albums or tracks and our song should show up again. This has barely scratched the surface of what Plex is actually capable of. If you'd like to know more about Plex, drop me a comment below. Jellyfin is very similar to Plex. It basically provides the same types of service. It has some real advantages over Plex and also some shortfalls. The main reason people like Jellyfin over Plex is that it's open source and hence free. Also that it's highly customizable. However, Plex offers hardware transcoding, which is a huge advantage when sending compressed video streams across the internet. Jellyfin is focused on protecting your privacy and data ownership something that Plex has been criticized for in the past. I'll leave that for you to debate. Similar to Plex, you'll need to install some software onto a machine that is running 24 seven. Again, a NAS is an ideal choice, but for this demonstration, I'll be installing it onto the same Windows machine. Navigate to the Jellyfin Downloads repository, links in the description. Select the server on the top line. Select your operating system, in my case, Windows. Now this won't be running on a portable machine, hence select Windows and press download. Select the type of CPU you're using, in my case AMD64. Select the file type that you wish to download. I'll be using the EXE files. Now press open. If a user access control screen pops up, press yes. Now for the actual installation. Confirm that you wish to install Jellyfin. Optionally read the terms and conditions or agree. Select which type of installation you require. We'll only need the basic, although you can always configure the more advanced features later. Press next. Confirm the location for the Jellyfin installation and press next. Confirm the location for the data for the Jellyfin store and press next. Confirm all your details are correct and press install. Once completed, press close. Unlike Plex, Jellyfin will not start in the background. Use the search and select Jellyfin. Jellyfin will start in the background and you'll need to access it from your system tray. Double click on the Jellyfin icon in your system tray. Create a user account and log in. Next, we'll need to add our music library. Press the hyperlink for would you like to create one now. Press add media library. Define which type of media it is. Select music. Optionally change the name. Press plus folders. Navigate to your library and press OK. Confirm the details are correct and change any optional details if required and press OK. Navigate back to the main screen by using the home button in the top left hand corner. Our two albums are now displayed with inside of Jellyfin and we can play them from here if required. Now let's move back into Home Assistant. To be able to use the Jellyfin inside a Music Assistant, we're going to have to install the Jellyfin integration into Home Assistant. Navigate into Settings, Devices and Services, bottom right hand corner, press Add Integration. Search for and select 
Jellyfin. Enter the URL for your Jellyfin server. This can take various different formats, but the easiest way is to prefix it with HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address, then a colon, then 8096, which is the port. Then enter your username and password for your Jellyfin's media server. Then press submit. If the Jellyfin server has found some devices via DLNA, then these will be displayed along with the Jellyfin server listed as a device. Optionally give these devices areas and press finish. Now the Jellyfin integration into Home Assistant is a whole video on its own, but we simply need it to allow Music Assistant to work. If you'd like a separate video on the Jellyfin integration, then let me know in the comments below. And while you are there, maybe consider subscribing to the channel and joining the community. Also, if you're finding the video useful, then maybe a like or buy me a coffee. Moving back into Music Assistant, go to Settings, go to the top right hand corner and press Add Music Provider. Select Jellyfin. In the server field, enter HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of your Jellyfin server, then colon 8096. Then enter your username and password that you use to log into the Jellyfin server. Then scroll down and press save. You should now see that your Jellyfin server has been added to the sources. Now let's test it out. Navigate to the folder icon in the Music Assistant menu on the left hand side. Select the Jellyfin media server. Select the albums. You should now see the music that Jellyfin has found. And we are done. Once indexed, the songs will be available to listen to through the Music Assistant main interface. Hopefully with all these new music provider sources, you now have access to all your locally stored music from within Music Assistant. If you went down the Plex or Jellyfin route, you also now have access into remote music or even the ability to play your backed up videos anywhere in the world with your own private music and video streaming service. If you'd like a video specifically around Plex or Jellyfin, let me know in the comments below. The one music provider we didn't touch on was remote share access. Now I did this due to the complexity of people's networks and not having the time to address every different scenario. Also that using Plex and Jellyfin achieves the same results with the advantage of remote playback. But if it's something that people want to have a guide on for the most popular scenarios, then let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then consider subscribing and join the community. We put out home assistant guides and product videos each week. So if you want to be notified of when these come out, then hit that bell. Also, if you found the video useful, then maybe a super thanks or buy me a coffee. It really is appreciated. Until the next one, enjoy your music from Home Assistant or anywhere in the world.